Bon Giorno, and welcome back to the Italian campaign. It seems it's not quite done yet. It is July of 1963, so just uh, two and a half years. Be Wait, two and a half? No. One and a half year until I retire. And uh, yeah, the Germans want another go, so uh, let's give it to them. There we go. War with Germany. Uh, let's see. Yeah, I got some got some technology coming in, of course. Not very relevant. Scotland keeps buying my ships. I've taken Uganda. Well, the army has. Uh, the army has been gobbling up some uh, some minor nations, which is why my unrest is at uh, twenty something. So this war came uh, came just in time. Uh, let's see, yeah, tension increase with Germany. And let's see, let's move these ships back into here. I've been uh, kind of extending this uh, conquest here of um, of Kuwait, the last Ottoman province. Because I wanted to wait until I was at war with Germany. Because the Ottoman Empire is allied to Germany, and I think... Uh, this is just my theory on how things work, which, uh, well, it's just a theory. I don't know for sure. But very often when you're uh, invading minor nations like these with conquest missions, you don't get the option of striking their port, which I would like to because they have a lot of ships there and it could be a fun fight. And I think the thing is that when you get a conquest pop-up like this, that doesn't automatically mean you are at war with the nation you're invading, which is kind of weird. Like, the being at war with a minor nation and uh, having a conquest pop-up as if they're two separate kind of events. So what I thought, seeing as um, Germany and uh, the Ottoman Empire is allied, this might now mean that I'm at war with the uh, with the Ottoman Empire. I I checked the save file and there is no tab for um, relations to minor nations other than uh, which ones you are allied to. So yeah, hopefully this might mean I'm not at war with the Ottoman Empire and I get to fight their ships because otherwise. Oh well, well what, what is this huge navy even for? The Germans do have some ships. They've rebuilt their navy since last time. Here we got three battleships, four battlecruisers. Um, 17 heavies, three lights, five DDs, another heavy and a DD. 10 light cruisers and some DDs. What do we have here? And here's another six battleships and a battle cruiser. So, yeah, that accounts for their nine battleships and five battle cruisers total. So, they've been building quite a few ships. Uh, now then. Let's send out the first battleship squadron, now supported by the new Admiral Hipper class captured German heavy cruisers. So let's just send them out to. Oh, this could be a huge, huge, huge battle. Sure. Let's go for it. All or nothing. Do we want to support them with some more firepower? I think that would be a good idea. My super battleships are uh, hoping to maybe get to fight the Ottoman Empire, so... Maybe wrong priority there on my part. Maybe, maybe the super battleships should be engaging the the massive uh, German 
uh, task force that is operating in the North Sea instead of sitting outside of Kuwait. But there we go. That's how it is. Now let's see. Uh, let's see what all of this amounts to. I also have the third battle. No, the second battleship squadron. The super battleship squadron is the third one with the Balboa, the uh, the Boyardee, the old New Mexico, American built one, Montague, British captured one, and the old San Andrea. How's my finances? Uh, yeah, we've got lots of shipbuilding capacity to spare. Because most of the, uh, well, some of the Scottish battleships have been completed. And I'm not... No? No? No. No ships being repaired, currently. Even the Tiramisu is now operational. I just realized a couple of months ago that... Uh, Oh, she was suspended. Yeah, let's go. August. Well, it doesn't look like I have a strike mission against Kuwait. But we sure have a uh, we sure have a battle. And the uh okay, Kaiser class. So that's still the uh the mainstay of the German Navy. And a Heimdall class battlecruiser. See what kind of light cruisers do they have? Breslau, one billion. And Danzig, much more reasonably priced. That's a lot of torpedoes. What about their DDs? Not super fast. Underwater torpedo tubes. On a DD? Is that even legal? Okay, sure. Let's uh, let's go for it. Again, these these Kaiser class battleships. Very very potent. Very hard to kill. Oh, darn darn it! I forgot I wanted to add the uh, the Japanese DDs to this task force, but. I guess we're going in with what we have. And that's only three DDs. All right. And I know I mentioned previously that uh, in a previous episode, I don't exactly remember when, that I needed some new battleship designs to be able to counter these kind of um, really chonky, heavy battleships. But I haven't gotten around to that because, well, my shipyards have been uh, <laughs> way beyond capacity for such a long time. Okay, Eridano, you're going to join in with the other battleships. Even though that's probably going to make a mess of things. And the battle cruisers also, for some reason, couldn't figure out how to uh, just uh, sail in a single line. We're gonna have the heavy cruisers just follow the um, uh, the battle cruisers, I guess. No, not screen. Follow. There we go. And the DDs, only three of them, so there's not going to be that much microing this time, at least. Wait. Ah. Oh. It's this thing again. Um, for some reason, the game will not let me uh, let me control anything. This has happened before, so I'm just gonna exit to main menu and then load back in because the game auto saved when uh, when the battle started. All right, take two. 
Let's see if I can control my stuff now. And as a bonus, the starting formation is better. Alright, battleships, that way. Battle cruisers. Yeah, you can just uh you can just keep that up. Just keep following. Uh, except for you, you're just gonna join in with the uh with the battle cruisers. Heavy cruisers. Let's see. <coughs> Excuse me. Um maybe just um yeah, I just want to have them turn around this way and fall in behind the battleships. And the DDs, of course, are going to do some DD things with their torpedoes. Yeah, this time I'm able to fully control all of my ships. Oh yeah, you're just going to turn this way anyway? Okay. It's not exactly what I wanted. If I haven't mentioned it a dozen times already, not being able to deploy my ships at the start of a battle is so annoying. Let me just get my DDs uh, away from uh, where the battleships are taking fire. Scored a uh, scored a hit. Let's select some targets for the big guns. Uh, distance almost forty kilometers. Uh, that looks like a light cruiser. I don't think I want to be focusing a light cruiser with all of my all of my biggest guns. And uh, that is one of the other light cruisers. And it doesn't look half bad. But what I want to be focusing on are these things. Let's see. That's right at the end of edge of her uh, main battery range. And Vendetta 2. And Madonna. It's quite uh it's quite a distance away. Uh, yeah, the battle cruisers can just fire at whatever they have uh, range to hit currently. And here we go. Let's sail the heavy cruisers just parallel to the battleships, but behind them. That's the deal here. Let me get a um, let me get a good picture of our new cruisers. They are quite quite handsome, if I may say so myself. see like so yeah like so also I discovered something uh, something funny while I was uh, playing through a couple of months off camera you know those Japanese DDs that I captured uh, I forgot to delete the original design after I'd uh, refit them and suddenly my allies were ordering them so I could build Japanese DDs for my allies. Not for myself, but for my allies. So that was kind of weird. Let's see. Uh, a bunch of light chips coming in here towards my DDs. Uh, they're not the ones I want to hit with torpedoes, though. Is 
we're going to turn around and see if we can uh, get into range of those battleships. My cruisers are already firing at the screen here, which is perfect. That's exactly what I want them to do. Battleships yet, almost. Now oh, I need to be kiting away a little bit here because, yeah, there are probably torpedoes coming in. I think my DDs attracted some uh, some attention from enemy torpedo launchers. Tori don't quite have the range. Oh yeah, that's the head of the formation. All right, I knew that. And Sitori, this one, I guess. Actually, all of you, that one, coming right for me. Just uh, gotta hope they don't change course too much before the torpedoes arrive. All my DDs are launched. Looks like my DDs are also getting away, which is good. Aquilona took a couple of hits, but uh, mostly they are okay. Let's have secondaries open up on those. These are the secondaries that are in range. Battlecruisers are currently just uh, firing at will. Torpedoes are hitting. And they are indeed hitting the battleships. That is absolutely excellent. I was worried that most of my torpedoes were just going to miss because I didn't have a good angle. But no, that was way better than expected. Eight torpedo hits. Uh, missed that one though. Okay, so some of the battleships are getting through unscathed. But overall, that's a pretty good torpedo attack. And, as a bonus, my DDs are fine. Yeah, they might even be able to do that again. have them all. Uh, okay, they were fine. Sertori just lost <laughs> most of her stern. Hopefully she can get out alive. I went and turned my entire gun line fairing there were torpedoes in the water. But, truth be told, I haven't checked the enemy torpedo range. 14 kilometers. I just assumed there would mostly be 20 plus kilometer range. No, these were not even in, uh, not in range. Okay. What about these DDs? What's your torpedo range? 
19.6. Okay. Okay. Main guns on that. Secondaries on that. The uh, Regina Isabellas have 6 inch secondaries, so they can do some work. Well, the heavy cruisers haven't done that much. Oh, well, actually, they've done quite a bit. Okay, I think Sertori is gonna sink. Yeah. There's no saving her. So, I did lose a DD. Ponto took a pretty mean hit. Let's have the battleships come in um, in between them. Again, secondaries and the DDs. Well, the Ponto is in uh, decent shape, all things considered. Yes, our light cruisers. I think we're about to sink the first of the battleships. Yeah, there we go. Still identified as a battle cruiser, but I'm pretty sure it was a battleship. Here's a battleship, definitely Kaiserin. Kill it. Another battleship sunk. some AP and see what we can do. Just for a couple of volleys. Okay, Madonna. I want the Madonna to uh, disengage. Well, not disengage, but uh, detach. Start putting out some angles. She's kind of fat, so she doesn't turn uh, the quickest. What are these guys doing? Like the formation thing, it was fixed at some point. Then it unfixed itself. Dead. Kaiser and sinks. More battleships out here. Did get torpedoes away, that sucks. Vendetta is gonna eat at least one. Oh, 
we get these uh, cruisers a little bit closer, so they can actually uh, actually do some screening. Well, screening from behind, but still. Secondaries on that, whenever it comes uh, within range of the 5.9s. There we go, we're sinking this DD too. Quite a pricey DD. Not a lot of armor, 0.2 inches, so my own DDs could uh, actually fight it. Let's bring the DDs uh, back into the action. I might need them to torpedo these battleships. Let's see, Lauenburg. You got some armor. It's a very light battlecruiser. So let's bring the uh, the heavy cruisers back here to hunt down the enemy light cruisers. I think that's a job they can do. Madonna is now safe. Actually, can go back to auto selection on the ammo. You can just uh, follow the vendetta. I said follow. There we go. So some damage sustained on some of my capital ships. Madonna took the worst of it. Taking fire from my uh, battle cruisers. Actually, Fortuna, Lepanto. Madonna is electing to fire AP. It's firing at a range of 43 kilometers. I think she can go through the decks with AP at this range. At 43 kilometers, that should be... Uh, well, the penetration table kind of stopped at 40 kilometers, but that should be around... Should be around 20 inches of deck penetration. behaving now somewhat uh, I think Lepanto needs to uh, disengage or at least detach like so Now, Francesco and Aquilona are 
are closing in on the enemy battleships. Smoke. How are my battle uh, heavy cruisers doing? Where did those light cruisers go? They ran away. Well. Lohenberg has taken damage. We are nearing torpedo range. The enemy battleships. There we go, we should be in range now. Koenig Albert is about to sink. Odin. Ergoland. Koenig Albert sinks. Okay, they are in the middle of maneuvering. Launch. Didn't want to wait a little bit until they were done maneuvering, but I was not sure how long my DDs were gonna remain alive. So far, torpedoes are looking good. guys are really tight. Uh, can you loosen up that formation a bit? Just seems a little bit uh, weird, but okay. Just in case I didn't want to uh, just use the cruiser as the thumbnail. Could always go with the old the old classic. Very uh, with the sunset. It's the sunset, right? Uh, I think it is. Yeah, west. Sunset. With the sunset in the background, very very kitsch. Aquilona sinks. Uh, she uh, took a. What kind of hit did you take? 18 inch. Yeah, that'll do it. I consider my DDs quite good, but they are not really uh, standing up to 18 inch battleship shells. Good. Hitting the uh, the Lovenberg hard, the 16s. Range 37 kilometers. I think I want to get closer. Should be able to catch up now that she's uh, wounded. Forgot to watch my torpedoes. Did I score any more hits? Maybe. Actually, it took three torpedo hits. I don't know if that was from before or from this torpedo attack. Guess I will just have to watch the recording to see. You guys probably saw it. If those 12 torpedoes were from the initial torpedo rush or from this one. I hope it was uh, at least some from this one. So that my um, the loss of the 
destroyer was not in vain. Okay, we're closing in. Three battle cruisers against a single one. I consider that fair. Madonna is firing AP. She's not done that much damage this time around. Still got a little bit of damage instability. We are firing at a range of 39 kilometers. Yeah, we don't quite have the deck penetration to do that. Madonna firing at 41 kilometers. She should have the deck penetration to do that. Oh, oh wait, something is happening over here. Yes, something is happening over here. My heavy cruisers have found their prey. That is nice to see. See, Adlo. 1.5 inches of armor. It's not gonna save her. This thing, this thing actually had some armor. Yeah, no, that's the, uh... That's the same class as I remember from the previous war. That's the light cruiser class I wanted to take. Guess I, uh... Messed it up for myself again by sinking... One of the few they had left. Battleship Odin sinks. The battle cruiser also went down. We now only have the Helgolon left. Algalon is being pummeled by my battleships and now also the battle cruisers. There we go, Sea Adler goes down. Any more enemy ships remaining? Or is the RDF just pointing me in the direction of ships I've already sunk? Might be the case. There we go, one of my 16 inch shells found a main, main deck penetration on Helgoland. How is that possible? Got 18 inches of the main deck. Well, anyway, I think she's gonna sink. Yeah, the ship is falling apart. Splitting at the seams, the water is pouring in. subgroup for uh, dedicated decent AI designs.
They're not common, but it happens. Anything else? I'm not gonna go chasing a single, uh, single DD all over. Anything? Oh yeah, no. There's something. <coughs> Whatever it was, it got away. It was, uh, it was actually three light cruisers. Okay. But, yeah, still, that's a, that's a decent victory. Madonna will need some repairs, Lepanto will need some repairs. Lost two my DDs. Which is, uh, sad. But this time the enemy DDs were actually, uh, more expensive than mine. Big DDs too, 5,000 tons. Well, about the same size as mine. And we are winning. Uh, we're gonna keep fighting a little bit more. Let's see, there we go. Some transports lost. Ooh. From northern France into southern Germany. Well, let's see, I think I'm now just gonna have let this invasion run out and get Kuwait. And just hope that we get a battle here. So, let's see, ambush. Because that has worked so well before. Two Rheinland class heavy cruisers and a V38 DD. We got two Scottish General Antonio Casino class. And two of my DDs. Mine have been refit. Recently, they now have 5.5 .5 and 5.6 inch guns. The Scottish ones have not. I'm tempted to just let this one slide. I think I will. I don't see us killing two heavy cruisers with four DDs. Even if these two are like really big powerful DDs and these have been recently refit with better guns. I just don't see it happening. So we're not going to do that one. Convoy missions though. One here, one here. A third one there. And one here. Bourbon class heavy cruiser. Versus two Rhineland class. 1963 refit. Is it good? I don't know. It's got one triple and one single 10 inch gun. Mm, sure. Let's give it a try. Now, I did get a couple of Rheinland class uh, cruisers from Germany after the previous war. But those were in the original configuration. I have no idea what the 1963 refit looks like. It would be fun if I got the chance to pit one of my refit Rheinland class cruisers up against one of theirs. See which one uh, does the best spin on the original uh, configuration. Although mine isn't so much a spin as a complete rebuild. So let's see. Are we gonna do the uh, the classic thing? Aim torpedoes at the merchant ships and just hope that the uh, escorts find themselves in the path.
There we go, torpedoes out. And that's all of them. Let's see. We had two enemy cruisers, right? Yeah. No DDs in this one. So, General Marcelo, I think you're. Uh, I think you've done your duty here. Might bring it back if I need to uh, kill the transports. Ooh, there we go. Full penetrations, big damage. Let's do a little turn and hope that the enemy cruisers match my turn and run into the torpedo swarm. Looks like this one, no. It slid into a little gap. Lucky. No, oh, I'm taking uh, big hits. Keep shooting the one you were shooting at. Please. Now, if I can... possible to draw them away from the convoy and let the DD handle the transports? Yeah, we're doing big, big damage to those uh, cruisers whenever we hit. Uh, but that's the challenge here. Most of my shells are going quite wide. Okay, they're uh, not taking the bait. They're sticking with the transports. Which is commendable. Let's so. Uh, what kind of armor scheme do you have? 11.3 inch main belt. 0.2 superstructure. That's why we're taking a lot of AT damage. Okay, you're gonna be quite difficult to sink, aren't you? Uh, they're both the same configuration. So a single 10 inch forwards and triple one at the stern. What else do you have? Gen 3 radar? Citadel 5 mm, triple bottom. 19 inch torpedoes, semi-oil and gear turbines too. That's why you are very very cheap. These are these electric electric torpedoes, yeah, 19 inch. Minus 87% visibility. So I'm probably not gonna see them until they hit me. Luckily they are also very slow and the range is not that great. Just gonna keep hammering them with HE. Could potentially go through extended belts. And main deck. If I were to open up the range. Let's have the 4.2s start engaging the transports. We sailed past. Uh, 
think we're gonna be sinking the Lutzau soon. But Kaiserin Augusta is in pretty much perfect shape. Torpedoes, you've launched torpedoes, okay. Uh, get get out from where those torpedoes are gonna uh, end up. There we go. Lutzau sinks. So many of my shells are just going wide. And torpedoes did not hit anywhere near me. Probably because I maneuvered after they launched. Kaiserin, you've taken a lot of crew loss. Probably because you have a lot of <laughs> torpedoes mounted on the deck. And those torpedoes are not well protected. That's how you end up taking a lot of crew loss and surrendering, potentially, even with the uh, spacious quarters. I'll take a closer look at that armor scheme. Aft belt, 6 inches, four belt, 3.1. Yeah, no. I don't see her taking uh, a lot of effective fire with AP. Okay, look at this. My DD is... Uh, Finding herself a good torpedo angle. She can just avoid the enemy torpedoes. I think we're gonna score a couple of hits here. There we go. Impressive. Now kill some transports with the guns. Everything is fine. Kaiserin Augusta is not looking, uh, not looking so happy. Let's see. Uh, my DD has lost one of her turrets. Two bow turrets are still operational. It's not much. But could cause some crew damage. Yeah, they're actually doing damage. No, no, no. no. Keep firing at the... Uh the cruiser. Kaiserin Augusta sinks. Perfect. Well done. Now let's just kill the transports. And those new 5.6 inch guns seem quite punchy. Like that. Now uh, the rate of fire went way down after I uh, bored them up.
but yeah, they do a lot of damage now for DD guns. So I'm quite happy with that refit. I had to uh, reduce the size of the torpedoes to make it work. They're now 23 inch instead of 24. But the damage is mostly the same and with some of the passive uh, uh, torpedo technology I've gotten uh, the range is also pretty much what it was. Alright, let's see what else we have in store for the next episode. We got Bastarda class battlecruiser versus three Rhineland and a Didi. I think she can uh, pull that off. And let's see, that's the same one. They're all in like almost the same place. Ooh, let's see here. That's exactly what I was talking about. One of my Rhineland uh, refits going up against two of theirs. Supported by a Scottish Barbone class. Nice. And there's a third one behind her too, but I can't find a way to click on it before I've done the other two. So, yeah. Is this good? Nah, that's not gonna work. So I will see you back tomorrow and we're going to do some uh, some Conway battles and we're going to see who built the best Rhineland refit designs, me or Germany. Let's see, where's the, I know they had some battleships here, somewhere here. Oh yeah, no, they do. Three battleships, four battlecruisers. Okay, let's take a look at that tomorrow. Goodbye, and take care.